good morning guys welcome to another weekly vlog this week was supposed to be completely different i was actually meant to have one of my friends coming to stay for a couple of days that hasn't ended up happening so i've accidentally gained three days to be able to do work slash might have to run and be there for another friend so there's like a bit of a, a bit of a weird three days where it's like i'm kind of here and i'm kind of there and it's just a bit it's a bit hit and miss so i'm gonna take it easy and try and fill my time with things that are at home chilled easy and maybe try and catch up on work that i otherwise wouldn't have done but i have no trail of thought this morning i feel very not with it so i'm gonna get myself a little coffee decaf of course always and just crack on with planning some outfits get the fan in here because it's still a bit warm um and get going I'm very excited actually i really really like planning outfits it's one of my favorite things to do i just love putting outfits together <laughs> especially summer to autumn like they're my favorite seasons and i love the in-between period where you can kind of mix and match and like add some warmer bits in with the colder weather stuff i just love it so much so i'm gonna get on with some of that <laughs> I'm halfway through editing a decluttering video that I filmed back in May. I think it was like the 23rd of May or something. And I actually love it. I've really tried hard to like edit it really well and put in all of the like bits and pieces that I think you guys would really like. So I'm nearly done with the editing of that. I've had a really productive hour and a half doing it. And now I'm off to swim. And I think it's really needed because I had a sudden like, not brain fog per se, but I had one of those moments where you kind of feel not good enough i guess is the right term like i don't really know how else to explain it but i just had an overwhelming feeling of like no one likes what you're doing no one wants to see this why are you even filming this you're so boring you're so this you're so that and i had like a really negative self-doubt five minutes and i kind of had to check in with myself and call james and be like right i'm being ridiculous this is such a silly thing it's all in my head and I need to just get over it and just stop. So the swim is actually coming at a really great time because it's needed, but I didn't know that I needed it when I booked it. So it's gonna be nice to just get in the pool for like 45 minutes and just be free of thoughts, just focusing on breathing and just relaxing. And then I can come back and carry on editing. I'm trying to make sure there's no gaps in my YouTube videos for the foreseeable future. Like I really wanna get back to consistency. I really wanna try hard and be that person. And it can be quite challenging, but I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that I can do it. And yeah, I have every faith in myself. So let's see. But for now, we're going swimming. So I've just chucked on my worst behavior jumper that I wear all the time. I've got a little tote bag. I've got my swimsuit underneath, which is just one of the like typical swimming, like swimming for exercise, not swimming for fun kind of swimsuits. Because I've worn bikinis before and it's just annoying and inconvenient. And I'd rather just wear one like this where it just doesn't move and then I also have this which makes every friend that comes with me laugh their head off because I wear these in the pool and I am having a quick snack because I'm absolutely starving and I didn't want to have a full lunch now and then feel sick when I'm swimming because does anyone else remember being a kid and your parents being like you can't swim for an hour after you've eaten and I used to hate that hour after lunch every single day on holiday because you'd sit there and you'd be counting down the time like can I go in yet? 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 And you'd be so bored. And then the minute you could jump in, it'd be like, ah, and you'd run and jump. That used to be my brother without fail. I'll actually show you a picture here of us on holiday. We never used to get out of the swimming pool. Like our parents used to struggle to get us out of the swimming pool on holiday because we just loved it. So every time I eat, I always think that, but I figured one little bar won't hurt. So I'm gonna nibble this and get on my jolly little way. And Amelia is outside. Lovely, off I go. It's really good. Um, I told James about two seconds ago that the mac and cheese is really good from Huel and now he wants it for dinner because we just had McDonald's for lunch, balance, you know? So we're gonna have, I think, the Huel mac and cheese for dinner because we're not that hungry, but we're still peckish. I think it's like, what time is it? Nearly half six, so probably in a little bit, but we've had the whole day just relaxing to be honest so we spent a lot of this morning just pottering around on the sofa and just relaxing and then we headed over to puppy sit for my friend amelia because she's just got a new puppy called bailey he is the cutest thing ever i think he's about 
10 weeks now I think I can't actually remember how old he is we went to the storage unit and picked up all of the autumn bits so the autumn decorations are going to be going up ASAP just because I wanted to film it get it up at the beginning of September and have it like the beginning of my autumn content so to speak and I think it you know when it's just like I, I, I think it's the weather this week where it's got a bit colder and a little bit more rainy I just really want autumn now and I was absolutely gunning for summer staying as long as possible because I've still got trips but I'm actually really excited for autumn as well like I can't wait for all of the autumnal things but I'm also still very happy with summer so don't worry I'm not getting ahead of myself it's just obviously filming ahead like content and stuff I am now slightly in the autumnal mood so that's all going to be going up I think on Friday and then the vlog will be coming maybe like two or three weeks after that um but I just wanted to get everything scheduled in and stuff so very exciting and I also bought a few new bits from HomeSense as well which are going to be going up like just random decorations so literally cannot wait i can't wait to like even put the doormat out i know that sounds really crazy but the doormat and the wreath for the door is what i'm most excited about <laughs> all the small joys in the world um but yeah so we've got that out the storage unit we also got a couple of other bits out and just like unpacked like my himalayan salt lamp and that kind of like random little things and now we're watching orange is the new black and we're nearly at the end of season one i've only seen season one before james has never seen it before so we figured this would be our new bingeable series because we've not really watched like a long series in a while and we finished Lock and Key. What did we watch before Lock and Key? What was our series before that? We've seen Shadow and Bone. We've seen How to Get Away with Murder. What else have we watched? We've watched quite a few long series. But we wanted like another juicy long one because How to Get Away with Murder, I think, was like five series or something. But we'd never seen that before, so we watched it from the beginning. And Orange is the New Black is quite a long one. It's a good one. We all know it. We all love it. So we're binging that because James has a random midweek day off. So I figured I'd have one too. And then the rest of the week is going to be go, 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 go on like working, doing bits. I've got shoot days. I've got loads of random things planned in and hopefully a lot more vlog clips for you because I know that recently I've been really bad at vlogging. I think once I get out of it for so long, it's so hard to get back into it, but I promise I am trying to get back into it um, and trying to just, yeah, be a better vlogger. But speaking of which, I wanted to show you, but I picked up loads of books from the storage unit and I'm crying laughing because I don't know if you can see and laughing my head off because I lost my magic. I bought a new one, so the new one is here, and then I found the old magic and the old secret. So I now have replaced both. So what I might be doing is giving away one magic and one secret to someone. So I might do like a giveaway coming up on a future video that I think you guys are gonna love. So keep your eyes peeled for those. There's gonna be a lot of really exciting new style videos coming. Um, but that, I think, yeah, I think I might give, give them away. Or I might give away like five or something, I don't know. But... We're going to go back to watching Orange is the New Black. And yeah. Oh, also, while I remember, I have just spoken to the restory which is a really good place if you are if you're ever looking for someone to kind of revive your designer goods so i have personally thought about using them before like you know when you look on ebay or something and you want like a vintage i don't know gucci bag like i tend to opt for more like vintage numbers and sometimes they look a bit battered there is a really good website called the restory which i'll leave linked down below i follow them closely because i love their reels they do like a lot of before and after reels of what they do and they basically like revive bags shoes and like the, all that kind of thing um so i'm actually sending off my gucci boots i'll leave my unboxing so you can see what they looked like when they arrived but they just need a bit of a resole so i've had these for about three years i think maybe four years potentially four years but these are my favorite boots ever these were one of my first ever designer purchases if not my very first designer purchase and i'm absolutely obsessed with them but they just need a bit of tlc so they're a little bit scuffed this little fringy tassely bit just needs kind of flattening again um the sole is completely i don't know if you can see that but the sole is like completely ruined and that's because they are leather soles which is quite annoying so i've taken loads of pictures and spoken to the restory and asked for a quote just to see how much it's going to be to make them look better and also to clean them because cleaning them with leather protect well i leather protected them but cleaning them with polish is really hard because of all the embroidery on them so i'm just waiting for them to get back and then hopefully i can send them off and get them back by the time we're back from holidays um and by the time autumn like fully starts because they are such comfy boots for autumn winter and I'm really hoping I can get them resold with like rubber soles so that I can wear them a little bit more because the one thing that did slightly frustrate me is that the soles are quite slippy where they were leather and they also just don't wear very well. Um, 
but they hold a special place in my heart. They are one of my first design... They, they literally were my first designer purchase. And they also got worn for the very first time to Carrie Bradshaw's house in New York and also on a helicopter over New York City. So they are very, very special boots and I am just in love with them. So very excited to get them sent off and get them back and just have my favorite boots ready to be worn again and then i'm also going to send off my loafers as well because i really want them resold with a better grip because they are very slippy and i just want them to be able to be worn without flying off my feet because where there's no back or anything they fall off a lot but yeah so gonna be sending these babies off and i'll show you what they look like when they get back actually i could show you in a future vlog but very exciting good morning guys it's wednesday today and yes the dressing gown is back out i feel like it's not too hot today so i can wear this in the morning instead of just wearing like either nothing or a giant t-shirt because it's been so warm but i'm really glad to have the dressing gown back out this is a one from marks and spencers from about two years ago now i think i got this as a christmas present from my brother and it's the softest thing ever it's kept soft and i live in it and i'll leave it linked because i think they do still sell it but it's really cozy. It is slightly too hot to wear a lot of the time, but I like it for in the morning when you're like fresh out the shower, making breakfast or like doing your makeup and stuff. And it's just like, want to be cozy. Like it's just really soft and snuggly and I just love it. I literally wear this all the time in the winter, but it's out today because it's not too hot. So decided this morning, I really fancied a smoothie. So I've got a little smoothie recipe from Empower, which is my training plan. Um, I'll leave the website link down below if you fancy checking it out but I basically have an app which has like all meals that fit my macros and my calories and all that kind of thing and it basically tells me like different options I can have so I think I have like six breakfast lunch dinner etc um, and this is one of the breakfast ones and it's so delicious that I decided I wanted it again because I had it the other day and I have not stopped thinking about it since but I thought I'd talk you through it because sometimes I quite like knowing what people are putting together in vlogs in like recipes and stuff. So this is what I've got in. Okay, so I do 150 grams of blueberries, although this punnet is 125 and I basically just use the whole thing. Although a couple of them are a bit moldy, so we're not going to do every single one. I'm basically picking out the non-moldy ones because I don't want to waste food. There's quite a lot that are off, so what I'm going to do is pop in some frozen ones. I just get these from Aldi, so they're really inexpensive. Then we're gonna pop in 135 grams or 135 mils of almond milk, 35 grams of protein powder, 20 grams of honey. And finally, we're gonna pop in 10 grams of almond butter. And then... Mm. It's so good. It's nice and sweet because of the honey. But it's also a little bit vanilla-y and it's, oh, it's just so good. Some new bits have just turned up from Revolve and I wanted to share them with you before I do anything else today because they're so cute. And I know if I don't film this now, I'm going to end up wearing all of it and then that kind of will defeat the object of filming a haul. So I'm going to go through and share these with you. God, I'm really like, I'm really hot. <laughs> Can you see how shiny I am? It's so warm in here. Starting with this little t-shirt, which I think is quite a nice elevated basic. It's very, very cute, very simple. It's just a cropped t-shirt and then it's got these like two panels that kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to, I don't want to undo it because I've just tabbed my face i don't want to get makeup all over it but this is basically a tie that you just tie around yourself and i thought this was cute for wearing with like little skirts or something could be dressed up or down and i quite like having things that are still basics but look a little bit different to give my wardrobe a bit of something else um and personally this is a favorite which is why i put it on immediately <laughs> and then i also got this which is a little tank top for the gym or loungewear I guess I mean to be fair you could wear this anywhere but I think it's meant to be loungewear slash workout because it did have matching little shorts which I want to get my hands on too and it's a cute neutral color with the seam underneath the boobs there and then on the back it's just got the little seam carrying around but this one's really nice and flattering and it looks really good with like sweatshorts or something or equally like I said if you wanted to wear it to the gym or just with jeans or something it's really really cute I buy everything from Revolve and an extra small for reference I do find their sizing to be quite typical like it kind of fits across the board but i always wear an extra small and everything seems to always fit really nicely um this dress is another one i picked up i thought this was really nice for my holiday that's coming up in a couple of weeks i'm annoyed that i didn't get this earlier in summer because it's so beautiful that it would have been perfect for pretty much everything else that i've had going on but it's cute enough and i know this will be one that i keep getting out year upon year so it's not it's not wasted but it's just got the cute little tie bit here 
and then on the back it's got the crossover straps it's quite hard to show you on the hanger i'll have to show you on the cutaway but it's very very cute and i also did try tying it so instead of using the halter net bit i actually tied it at the front and it looked really cute as well so that's one dress then I got this little vest, which is just a little asymmetric number, very simple, the back looks like so, and I thought this again was just a good little basic to have. Um, I don't think you can ever have too many little vests and stuff, especially when they're different types. I also picked up this top, which I fell in love with because I think it looks a bit like Love Shack Fancy vibes, and it's a really good one for wearing in the autumn because it has that kind of like gothic-y feel to it while also still being really feminine. So you've got the little detailing on here. I don't know how well it's going to pick up because it's black. But there's like lace detailing. You've got the crochet bits on the arms and on the front. And then it's got this little tiny peplum. And then the back is completely open. So the tie around the neck and then you've got a little button. Um, but the back is completely open, which I thought was really cute. And again, would be so nice with jeans or something. And just... Just a good elevated basic and a top that I know will get worn a lot. I try to really think about pieces that I'll use a lot throughout the coming season because I want to try and maximise my entire wardrobe and make sure that I'm wearing absolutely everything this autumn and not keep going back to the same things, which I think we all do as creatures of habit, but I really want to get out of that and start focusing on making sure I'm wearing my entire wardrobe, which is a video coming soon. So keep your eyes peeled on that one. But I just, I really like wearing everything and getting the most out of everything. Moving on is a pair of jeans. These are from Girlfriend, which is a company that I've never owned jeans from, but I've always heard amazing things about. So I thought I would get some and try them out. These are just a high-waisted pair with ripped knees because I feel like Hayley Bieber's bringing back the ripped knee trend and I'm here for it. I quite like it. I think it looks a little bit different to just wearing plain blue jeans all the time. And I kind of thought as an outfit, these jeans with this t-shirt and some like Air Forces or Converse or something would be quite cool. Potential outfit as well for me this weekend because I'm going to see Coldplay on Sunday, which will be in next week's vlog. I don't feel like I can put it in this week's because I'm going on Sunday evening and I don't think there's literally no way it's going to be in this week's vlog so it'll be in next week so keep your eyes peeled for that but I thought they'd be good for that and then last but not least I got this little dress which is an extra small again I, I think everything is an extra small apart from obviously the jeans are sized so they all yeah it's all pretty much the same size but this dress is adorable this is like a little puff sleeve number low front and just a cute little white dress that again I wish I'd had the whole summer because I've got a couple of white dresses in my wardrobe but I'm not the biggest fan of them like I like them but I knew that I could find better and I feel like these two dresses would have been worn so much had I have had them especially on like various trips and stuff because I prefer packing a dress where it's like one thing rather than having to build an outfit that's like two or three pieces because then it all just fits in your case a lot smaller I'm going to be taking these to Mexico for sure and I'm going to be wearing them a lot because they're just so so cute but yeah I wish I'd had them sooner because they're adorable and it's also really lightweight as well like the the body is double lined, but it's like a thin double line. So you've got like the textured fabric, but that's what I got. Um, but can you see how shiny my face is right now? Very like shiny. And I only put tinted moisturizer on this morning. I got the beauty pie one back out, which I talked about a lot last summer, but it's so good. It's just like a really nice, it's like a light to medium coverage tinted moisturizer. And I actually really rate beauty pie. I love it. I get loads from there. So highly recommend if you're in the scope for some new beauty products, which reminds me I need to make a little order before my trip. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get on with filming some videos for the day. Weekly reminder to drink more water. Being the height of productivity today and very grateful to myself because I've got quite a lot done. I'm on my fourth, well, technically my third full video filmed and my fourth video, including one that's like an ad that I've had to do like part of. So I'm doing really well on that front and I've also got an ad film for something else. Like it's all just going well. So we're at quarter past two. I reckon I can probably film these cutaway bits with all of this by three. And then I'm gonna try and get another one done and then go for a nice little walk at about five, six o'clock when it's a little bit cooler outside. Just got some chicken on the go. We've got some homemade katsu sauce, a little bit runny, but it's katsu sauce nonetheless. And then microwave rice and we're good. We're making a little homemade katsu curry this evening. Very excited about it. It's one of my meals on the Empower app. So it's healthy, it's good, it's on my plan and we both love it. So very excited to taste it and just oh, so good. And we did what? Oh, James is laughing because um, it's on my plan. It's really good, but also balance. We have lots of snacks. I said to him that we would watch Marvel if I had loads of snacks. So we bought loads of snacks. Sometimes you just gotta have some balance, you know? <laughs> 
Hi guys, it's Thursday and there's not been much of a vlog today so far because honestly, we have been on team like, let's get autumn sorted in the house because I really want to make the house autumnal and I know that's ridiculous because it's still the middle of August and I'm sorry if anyone is anti like doing things early, <laughs> but I really wanted to just get the autumn decorations out because we got them out of the storage unit the other day. So there's a big box down there. And since I've seen them here, I just thought, you know what? I want to get everything done film the video, get the video scheduled in for you guys for a couple of weeks time and just put everything out autumnal and just, and I love it. I love this time of year so much. So I kind of can't wait to just get everything put up and like get it all ready and like, oh, I just love it. So most of today is not gonna be on this vlog, but I am shooting with one of my friends at about four o'clock. So that's gonna be today's vlog instead. And this will be postponed. So you will be seeing this in due time, but just know, I mean, you're gonna see it round and about the house anyway when I'm vlogging, but coming soon. <laughs> Look who I'm with. It's been so long since she's been on a vlog. It's me. <laughs> We're out taking pictures again. It's been quite a while. Um, we come out, we, we come out. We, we did come out. We did come out, but we're out taking some pictures in one of our favorite little spots mm. and just having a great time. It is currently quarter past six. So the light's going, yep. but Tash finished work at four. So we are making the most of our time, so I'm gonna chuck you on time-lapse because we need to crack on, but wearing cute little outfits. 